on the shins with no luck. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with two down. Too high. One and two. And he strikes him out here for route number three. So after his. Digging in the switch hitter, Josh Bell. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Pulled toward right center field. Peterson has a read on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Corey Dickerson. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And that one swung on and missed 0 and 1. I'm surprised we're seeing so many late swings on fastball. If there's one rule of thumb in the game, get to the heat. And a base hit is that's in the left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Up next for the Buckos, Colin Moran. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Possible winning run on first, one man away. Runner goes for second. A bouncer up the middle. Forsyth has it. Only play will be to first, so with the runner in motion, they stay out of the double play. So digging in with a chance to win it here, number 17. He'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. If I'm on the mound right now, I know I'm in the hitter's head. He was definitely sitting soft. I might speed him up and elevate it right here. And a good two-strike breaking ball there, but this will wind up missing. It's one and two. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at two to. So here now. Leading off for the Dodgers, Hector, number 47. Kike Hernandez is going to grab a bat. Now she'll be asking. Number 14, T.K. Hernandez. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Hard hit ball to second. Harrison has it. And there's one away. Now back to the top of the Dodgers order. Digging in, Chris Taylor. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Dickerson going back, still going back. And as Dodger fans have heard for years, she is. Second baseman, Logan Forsyth. First pitch of the at bat. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. How about it? Third baseman. Justin Turner. Your attention, please. First pitch now on its way. Pirate. High in the air out to center field. Long run for the center fielder. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. So here's the cleanup hitter. Now pitching for the Pirates, number 43. Here's the first pitch to him. Rip down the line. And this is past him at third, down the line. It's a fair ball. Forsythe rounds the corner and is headed home. He'll score easily. And they now lead by two. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. So far, two for three in this one. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Waiting on it, the center fielder. He makes the play, and that'll... Kenley Jansen gets the call from the pin, and they've saved him for the 11th as he'll try and take this one home. First delivery to him on the way. Very weakly on the ground.
swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Peterson will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. Now back. So the next of the plate for Pittsburgh, Stephen Braun. Elias Diaz will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Hit down the line at first. And that's through for a hit. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Josh Harrison. John Harrison. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, missed that one by a mile. It's 0-1. Diaz, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. A swing and a miss at a ball down. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Josh Harrison becomes out number two this inning. Late one ball, one strike. Career matchup numbers against Kenley Jansen. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. with the game on the line. Swing and a miss on a ball inside. 0-1. Jansen comes set. Here's the 0-1. And it's fouled away. Pittsburgh down to their last strike. Now a flare out toward right center. Forsyth ranging into shallow right. But he won't get there. It falls in. Second run is in to score as they bounce back to tie it at two. Josh Bell the next to hit. Career matchup numbers against Kenley Jansen. Small sample, a perfect one for one. He struggled quite a bit at the plate in this one, so until he shows he can put a good swing on the ball, I don't think they're going to give him anything straight that he can handle. Puig is there to make the catch. Tyler Glasnow gets the ball as he'll take over to start this 12. Inning. Number 24, Tyler. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit out towards second. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. So the leadoff man reaches base safely here in extra innings. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And stepping forth is the left fielder, Matt Kemp. In the dirt here. And they got him. Boy, he was running like a turtle there. One out, nobody on. And oh, that gets him on the mound. Thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. Here's Jock Peterson now. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. A one pitch on its way. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Two out, nobody on. High and wide, two balls and a strike. That curveball is a pitch you have to get on top of, or else it'll take off just like that one did. Pulled toward right center field. Mercer is calling for it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Digging in and looking for more, Corey Dickerson. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Corey Dickerson. Now he'll step off and re. Going 
Daniel Hudson will be summoned here to start the home 12th, and the best case scenario for him is to take us to the 13th. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Kemp giving chase. One down. Digging in once again, Colin Moran. He was a ground out victim last time up. Bases are empty, one man out. Popped him up. Turner over to his right. Two down. Ready for another chance. Number 17. He's one for four for the game. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think, if we're being honest with ourselves, that one... A swing and a miss. That... So here's the Dodgers pitcher, Daniel Hudson. First pitch of the at-bat. Breaking ball just misses the inside corner. That's a tough pitch to throw right there, that front door curveball. Just missed hitting that inside corner. That's a very difficult pitch. I'm not sure if he wanted to get that one down and away, and unfortunately, that one stayed inside. Hit down the third baseline. Nope. Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. Set to deal on two and two. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for route number one. Here comes the first pitch. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Ready once again. Logan Forsythe is one away. The runner at first represents the potential go ahead score. Double play is in order however. And boy he didn't quite know what to do on that one but he's lucky to barely get back at first. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out. Here's Jordy Mercer now. He'll step in trying to do something about this 2-2 two -two tie. Starts him out with a fastball too low for ball one. Ready with the 1-0. Fouled off. The 1-1 one, one now from Hudson. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. The 1-2. One, a little bouncer. The 1-2. One, is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Up next for the Buckos, Tyler Glasnow. First pitch of the at-bat. To third. Turner's got it. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Josh Harrison stands in. Career line against Daniel Hudson. He's just one for six. Couldn't wait back. A swing and a miss. 0-1 count and the pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. So 1-1 one, one home. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Tweed coming on. And he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grab. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. Here comes the winning run for the plate. And he will come all the way around to score. Unbelievable. In a close game like this, you look for that one guy who produced when it mattered most. And this is the guy. He's our tops player of the game. When you walk up to the plate and hit a walk-off tater, you're probably going to be the player of the game. And that was a clutch swing of the bat, and he'll be riding high on that one for a while, I'm sure. Here now is our final line score tonight for the victorious Pirates. Three runs, 11 hits, one error. They left seven men on base. For the Dodgers.